Hey guys, welcome to Sweet Beat TV. It's your hosts, Alex and Taylor, and we have a super fun show for you today. We do. We're back for a good fun show today. Yes, we have Angelic yes. or Angelique. Oh. TBD, man. I don't know. Tomato, tomato, burrito, burrito. I know. We asked her in studio, and her mom says it can go either way. So right. we have Angelic slash Angelique in studio yes. today. Also, we have the amazing Indiana Masara yeah. back in studio, dishing all about chicken girls, okay? I and know. your girl's a big fan over here, so better trust that I asked all the questions. Yes, but first up, we have to talk about what's happening, Taylor. Well, Taylor, a lot is happening today. There's a lot happening today, Alex. You know what? Every day that goes by, another baby is born and another baby is named. That's right. Baby Sussex is officially named, and we have the name for you. It is Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mouthful, right? It's, or, you know, to those normal people like myself, we just call him Archie. That's yeah. all I can really remember. Yeah, we just reference Riverdale over there here it in is. this studio. You know, it's like I always have a hard time believing that people are born with such a name that, you know, seems like an older person's name, yeah. like the Georges of the world, the Archies of the world, but I'm proven wrong. They right. do name babies. And Old with names. regards to the royal title, Mountbatten Windsor is given to male descendants in line to the throne who have not been given a royal name because the Duke and Duchess of Sussex elected to give Archie no formal or courtesy title. So he'll simply be known as Master Archie at this point. Wow, how like 2019 and modern <laughs> of them, you know? Right? I mean, they're always known, I feel like this couple to do things a little bit differently than yeah. those that, you know, preceded them. So I'm here for it. Change I it know, up. It's super interesting. And then once his grandfather, Charles, becomes king, mm -hmm. he's in line to be prince. But the parents have the choice whether to give him that title also. So we That's don't the thing know. about parents. <laughs> they always really are making choose choices for life. you. Even in your 20s, people. That's Even right. in your 20s. My mom allowed me to be here today, and that's why I'm still with you. <laughs> I love that. So uh, the Sussex Royal official Instagram made the announcement, and they said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are pleased to announce that they have named their firstborn child Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor. This afternoon, their royal highnesses introduced Her Majesty the Queen to her eighth great-grandchild at Windsor Castle. The Duke of Edinburgh and the Duchess Mother were also present for this special occasion. And it's probably the first time that it was announced over Instagram, right? Yeah. I mean, trust me, there's enough people announcing when they're getting pregnant and everything else on the gram, but this one I actually appreciate. This this wins the baby announcement on the gram, right? It really does. I mean, I also wonder who handles their account because I think it's genius. I'm going to start referring to myself in third person on all my captions. <laughs> it's like, amazing. Like, Taylor is pleased to announce, and then whatever <laughs> I choose to announce it's that day. It's so royal. Yeah, it but really is. But something interesting is that everyone online was deciding what are they going to name the baby. Right. And a lot of the top picks had consistently been Arthur, mm -hmm. Alexander, and James, all of which have royal ties to the family. And if the baby Sussex should be a girl, Diana, of course, of course was yeah. the number one name that everyone was hoping she'd be named. But they chose Archie. They did. I'm kind of here for it. Yeah. I don't know anyone personally named Archie. So, and I don't know the royal baby. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> but I feel like, I don't know, you expect like a George or an Arthur, but Archie, it's kind of relatable in some ways. It's definitely relatable. And it's relatable to today right. with the whole Riverdale tie-in. Like, it's really on trend. I, I wonder, love what they're doing. I wonder if they watch Riverdale. <laughs> that would be interesting. That'd be um, the first question we'd ask, ask them, yeah? Well, that would definitely be the first question. I just hope they one <laughs> that day... That would be the first <laughs> question we'd ask the royal and family. And then it would be the last because I'd be fired. <laughs> right exactly. on the spot, right then and there. But I hope one day they take to Instagram to be like, you know, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are consuming Riverdale tonight. Yes. Hey, take it. I think mean, that's I a good caption. It. But anyways. Amazing. Cool. Well, congratulations to the royal family. I can't wait to learn more about little Archie. Yeah. Master Archie, should we say. That's true. Maybe one day we'll get to interview Archie. Yeah. I think that's more of a realistic goal. <laughs> totally. But speaking timeline. of some <laughs> other exciting things happening, new music, music. is on the horizon tomorrow yeah. for New Music Friday. And get this, Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran have announced a collaboration. Our boy's back. They're back. They, I kind of, they teased it a little bit in the beginning because they started, I don't know if that was photoshopping each other's photos into one another's photos. Right. That was like Inception. I don't even think I understood what I just said, but we're going to roll with it. 
they've been kind of collaborating on the gram within their photos. Yeah, right? and with the caption 10. As in May 10th. Of course, and as an investigative journalist over here, I knew that, and of <laughs> right. course I thought, ah, it's gonna be out on the 10th. But no Scooter idea. posted about it, I know Haley alluded to it, they're all in on it, and we're down for it, I right? mean, we're completely down. But so, okay, it's coming out the 10th, which is today, tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, well, yeah. it just depends where you live. You know, right. it usually drops at midnight, but like, there's a little teaser of it out that we kind of already heard. We did, we heard an exclusive clip on Bombay Times and then yep. a fan retweeted it and then Justin Bieber confirmed it and it's good. You know, they say news breaks in New York and LA, but Bombay, the, the Bombay Times. <laughs> the Bombay you, Times is breaking news. They really it. are and I'm gonna go follow them now. And hear this, the song's called I Don't Care, but after you hear this clip. Yeah, that means they we do. We care. Well, we care. <laughs> and it's like, I feel like it's, I think, it is a song for to like the state of their relationship with their significant others. That's what it kind of sounds mm. like. Because then uh, Ed Sheeran posted a photo with his. Yeah. Are they married? I think they're engaged. Engaged. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To his significant other. There we go. Uh, and said like I'm out here when the song's gonna drop and I'm being kind of enjoying it with her. So I kind of think it might be like a. That's a really really good idea. It, I mean. Now this I do is have them once in a while. <laughs> they don't come too often, people, so make sure that makes the edit. <laughs> now, this is four years after their first collaboration, Love Yourself. Of course it is. So it's the four-year anniversary, and like, why not honor it with a new collaboration, right? Yeah, and maybe before they, you know, were all about loving themselves, maybe when they were more in their, you know, single days, and now that they're with someone else, I think it's I don't, it's not I don't, I don't care. care, but like, it's like as long as I'm with you, I think it's kind of yeah. like yeah, that's Nothing awesome. Nothing else matters. I don't care because I and got you. Bieber that's has about you, boo. <laughs> Bieber hasn't released an album since 2015 with Purpose. Yeah. But we just recently saw him on stage with Ariana at Coachella. So he's really getting back in the he scene. Is. And I love it. You know, sometimes you gotta leave the scene only to re-enter the scene. Of course. And I think I should take some of my own advice at yeah. times. But you so, know, like goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what are we literally? <laughs> <laughs> this is staying in. No, yeah, come back to we okay. the show. Well, uh, now yeah. I'm refreshed and I'm ready to go. I took right. the much needed break. Yeah. All right. Need a coffee break. Need some coffee. All right. Anyways, no, but I think I think he's gonna come back. It's kind of you know to be in a routine of something and do it day in day out. I think it loses the joy and the magic of what you're doing. So right. I think Justin was very smart to walk away and come back on his terms. And who better to do it with than Ed Sheeran? Totally. Can't think of anyone. They're so. the two, two of the coolest guys ever. And I can't wait for tomorrow. And then I also can't wait because I'm sure shortly after a new Justin Bieber album will be releasing. So well, Alex, you know, like I said, every day that happens, another baby is born, another, another baby is named, and <laughs> usually on album is made. <laughs> another song is released, an album is made. They yes. really go hand in hand. Babies I can't and music. Even, I'm so excited. I can't even wait till tomorrow for the next thing to be announced. I know. And Ed Sheeran, he actually in his caption is like, "I hope that you like dance to it and sing." So I feel like it's going to be an upbeat, maybe summery type jam. Yeah. Which like, no. Taylor's never trying to turn that down, you know? No, Sounds like a good time. Definitely not. We're not sorry about that. Nope, we are not. What was that fun? Because I totally missed it. <laughs> Is it too late now? Oh, say like, sorry. Mm, yeah. Because we're releasing new collaborations. Come on, one more time now. Be in the back. <laughs> All right, people. Sorry, okay. we have to sometimes live out our dream too. Anyway, we're enough back. about us. Planet Earth. Stay with us because coming up, we have the amazing Angelic in studio talking all things her new single, Curfew. Mm -hmm. Don't so break stay it, with kids. Us. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the show. Joining me in studio today is the incredible Angelic. Hey, guys. What's up? Hello. New music is out, yeah. right? Your single, Curfew, yeah. is out. So tell us kind of about the inspiration about the song and then we'll get into the amazing music video. So curfew is mainly about me having a really good time with this boy but my mom sets a time and I'm kind of late but I'm like you know I really want to it's like five minutes three more minutes you know so it's just three minutes over five more three more yeah, two more hours you know, <laughs> honestly but um no I was just having a really good time with this boy and um I just made a song about curfew because it was it's really relatable for lots of people, and I think it's a good concept, so. So it's about being independent, right? Yeah. But still having to deal with parents, as we do, which you all should, you know, be good and listen to your parents, because they know what's best for you. Finding yeah. your, your middle where you can be independent, but also be a good yeah. kid. 
So let's talk about the music video. Yeah. So it has like a 90s kind of throwback, like with your yeah, we bucket were... hat and all that. You look like Missy Elliott. Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were kind of, we were heading towards like the J-Lo 2000 era, yeah. you know, and it was, I think it, I think the video turned out really good and I think it's, you know, it's, it's good. Yeah. I so, think it's kind of what I wanted it to look like. Definitely. So tell us kind of like your favorite memory on set filming the video. Um, Oh my god, so me and the girls, we we made up like a line thing before we started shooting and it's like an energy kind of like, I don't know, we were just joking about it and it's like, mm, shakala, li popo, and we were like holding hands and right before every single time they'd like turned on the camera, we would like, mm, shakala, li popo. <laughs> and does that mean it's anything? Just, or no, no, <laughs> not at all, not at all, but we just, we were like, like it's kind of like, all right, let's get this, let's Let's do this, you know? Yeah. It's, it's kind of like our one, two, three. Right. But like our... But even cooler. Yeah. What kind of language is that? <laughs> we just made it up. Yeah. I love that. So let's talk about, you know, the song yeah. is called Curfew. So tell yeah. me your best excuse you gave your parents oh. about being late for curfew. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I've What about the pretty... worst excuse? <laughs> Actually, I've been pretty on time with everything. Oh, that's good. So, so you were raised right. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I've been pretty on time. Like, I'm like, okay, I have five more minutes, let's spend this wisely, you know? <laughs> I so, love yeah. that. So you've never been late for curfew? Not really. No? Do you have a curfew? No, like, okay, I, that's I think, why you're I never late. I my mom. <laughs> but you know, sometimes I have that, Sophia, you gotta, you know, you gotta leave in five minutes. <laughs> right, I saw you were at Coachella. Yeah. That's super fun. So tell us kind of your favorite memory from that. Um, it was actually really fun. I got to spend time with, you know, all of my friends. I went with Claire's, so it was really good. And yeah, it was I it was Ariana Grande, her Ella May, and it was just nice. a lot of people, so it was really good. Actually Khalid was really good. I also. heard that. He was really, really good. That's so fun. So you're starting your own or a new YouTube channel, right? Yeah. So tell us kind of some of the content we can see on there. I have a Post Malone cover that I did and it's, I think it's really good. It's really colorful and yeah, I think it's really good. I also just dropped curfew, as right. we all know. And <laughs> yeah, you could just find lots of more stuff about me on my YouTube. That's amazing. So what's coming up? You have new music coming up? Yeah. We um, expect an EP or an album soon. We're cooking some stuff. Yeah. In Spanish. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, we nice. have we have a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah? Yeah. So what what's coming up this summer? Do you have any fun plans? Um, my birthday is this summer. Happy birthday! 15. In two more months. Wow. Two more months. 15. So what are we gonna do for your birthday? I don't know. I haven't planned that yet. We have to plan something. Yeah. For 15. So 15. So you get your permit? Yeah! Oh my god! My mom doesn't want me to drive because I'm like a crazy driver. <laughs> like even in go-karts, I go like so fast and she's like, you're gonna be insane. Like, oh my god. You know? So she she wants me to keep, you know, her driving. Yeah, keep uh, keep practicing. Yeah. And then maybe one day we can get our license. Maybe when we're like 18. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, yeah. we'll practice for a few years. Yeah, yeah. Or do you Probably. want it right at 16? Are you one uh, of those people? Yeah, I want it at 16. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I could see that. But even though like my mom's not gonna let me get it at 16, like she won't, cause she drives me everywhere, and so it's like she's like, you know, it's better for you to not be driving, so you can spend more time like on your phone or right. you know, and you don't have to pay attention to that, you know? So, right. Totally. So, yeah. Well, that's amazing. So happy early birthday. Thank you. And congratulations on curfew and everything. Thank it's amazing. You. We can't wait to see. You'll have to come back when you have more new music for yeah. us, all right? Well, Taylor, did you have a curfew going on? I did, and let me tell you, I still do, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Every time I go home to my parents, I have to be in by a certain hour. And get this, they even go as far as to set the alarm so that no matter oh, the I time I come yeah. home, and my brother always jokes, Chase, shout out. If you're watching, you're not. But Taylor's younger wait, brother. Yeah, sorry, my younger brother Chase would army crawl past my parents' room, just like so quietly, hoping that they like wouldn't come out. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, Taylor had a chance to hang out with the incredible Indiana Masara. In um, studio. excuse me, you mean my best friend? Yes, Indiana Masara. Okay, yeah. just, just making sure, you know, like it's on the card, Alex. No, I'm totally kidding. Um, but I've got to interview multiple times, and I'm finally at a place now. I watch Chicken Girls, and I feel like 
we're cool and I can ask all the questions that like everyone wants the answers to anyways, right? Because yeah. we're just two friends talking. That's right. So don't go anywhere. That'll be up next. Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I am with the girl who literally paints the town red everywhere in which she goes. Indiana Masara is back with us. Hi guys. Always in red. I know. Always. Baby, don't leave me alone. Well, yeah. you're lucky for you. I'm a host and I won't do that. And we're not alone. You a million <laughs> questions. You gotta just answer me this though. Hmm. It is so admirable and aesthetically pleasing, <laughs> your red feed that you keep on Instagram. Yeah. There's always a tone or a touch of red. Always. Is always. it ever exhausting? Yeah, all the time. Okay. All the time. It's not easy. It gets like really difficult because like if I ever take a photo yep. um, that doesn't have red, I have to find red somewhere or I have to like, it, it gets it gets a little a little difficult because I'm constantly at Forever 21 being like everything I mean, red. Like I just see something red and I'm like, Great. Is there an end date in mind for this? Because I know you started this. Ooh, that's a good okay. question. Yeah, I, that, that's really the tea here. That's, the tea that is, is the tea. Um, the red tea. Ooh, we shall see. <laughs> Okay. okay, let's talk about music. Yes. You've been putting out song after song, hit after hit. I'll be <laughs> in the car, hear it on 102.7, and I'm like, that's our girl, Indiana. We have, I think we're alone now, yes. still charting across the US. It is. Still Radio Disney's top 20. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Living life up here. <laughs> really up here. Okay, and also we have Over It with your girls. Aaliyah and Annie. Yeah. Exactly. That was really cool. That was a fun one, and I didn't know or anticipate this coming, you three. No, I know yeah. you work together and whatnot. But I gotta ask, it's over it and in parentheses it says no boys allowed. Yeah. So what boys aren't allowed? What Who boys is this song allowed? about? It's he. Um, hmm. No, um, the just, song is basically a girl empowerment right. song just being like, you know, we're not gonna be second best or... Right. Well, get over it, like, bye-bye. All right, now let's talk your latest yes. single. Run You Down. And the really cool thing about this, you not only recorded it, you wrote it. I did. You have so many talent. <laughs> Thank you. I'm reading the lyrics and I'm like this is genius. So Thank take you. us back and you wrote it for Brad's newest series, yes, right? The new series, Red, Red Ruby. Right, the vampire series. Really, really cool. Yeah, it was really cool. And you're not in it. No, no guest I'm not. appearances or anything. That no we guest know appearances. Of. I just did their theme song. Okay. So um, Brad came to me and they were like, "Yo, um, we love you. We uh -huh. love working with you. Uh, we'd love for you to write the theme song for our newest show." And I was like, "Yeah, of course." Yeah. So we went into the studio. We were throwing around. They gave me the original kind of like idea of it, but yeah. I had no idea what the show was about at all. Okay. All we knew was it was a vampire show. Mm -hmm. That's all we knew. Um, and it was kind of set in the '90s. Okay. Sort of, kind of. They are in their 90s. Don't you like they think of you? Yeah. Like, vampire? <laughs> in the 90s. Are, of course, Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. Um, okay. No, no uh, I like it. Yeah, it was really cool. So they, they gave us like literally a basic concept. We were in the studio okay. and we had the lyrics um, run you down written. That's all we okay. had. And so then we went in and we started like writing, throwing around ideas, and we're kind of like in a bit of a rut and we're like, what will inspire us, what vampire shows. So we put on the originals on Netflix and we muted it and we were just watching it and we were writing and I was like, oh, this could be really cool because there was a scene with like these shackles. So there's a, uh -huh. in one of the, one of the lyrics yeah. of the song is shackles have turned to rust, everything's come and done, better run. So it's kind of like, you know, you're mm -hmm. breaking free out of some of these shackles. And right. it was, I don't know, it was, it was really cool to like put all these little like hints of vampire kind of in there, like the bite, the, yeah. It was it was really, really cool. It so. is. I should have, so if you haven't seen the music video, it is out and it's on Brad's channel. It is, correct? it's on Brad's YouTube channel. I should have made her you wore things. I did. In that. I did. I should have made you wear things the entire That was video. really cool. Dang it. it was Opportunity really cool. Opportunity missed. I Opportunity should have done the whole thing. Alright, let's talk chicken girls. Yay. Alright, we are in season four. We are. I just saw episode eight, no escape. T. This is okay, this was a good the season's juicy. This yeah. episode was great. Yeah, the season is definitely intense. I know all you and your friends a lot of time. You do go to these escape rooms, yeah. right? And it is escape bonding. Fun. They are fun for some people. I'm not very good at them. Do not bring me. We will not make it out alive, okay? But we go there and we see there's a lot of drama going on with all the girls. Yeah. And there's a place in which it kind of gets reconciled. Yeah. You have conversations that maybe you don't want to have, right? Yeah. We see that Rhyme is not too happy with you, played by Annie LeBlanc, mm -hmm. because you and her ex, Drake, kiss. Yes. Well, and yeah, we started like having a dating and stuff. Okay, yeah. I didn't tell her. Did not tell her, and she, no. sorry, she saw the kiss happen. Yeah, she saw the kiss happen at my birthday. Okay, so, and I know this is just your character, Rooney, and it's not you, but it is breaking girl code, right? Yeah. So what, what is one to do? Any advice you have? Because <laughs> girls do get in those type of situations. Yeah, um, I've kind of had like a situation like this kind okay. of happen to me. I haven't like caused him to be kissing, but mm -hmm. they've kind of 
develop feelings for somebody right. that like I used to have like, mm -hmm. kind of a thing with and I think it's really important to just be a supportive best friend kind of thing and it's kind okay. of like you know I I'm not gonna get in the way of something that like, what if that was meant to be we do see this kiss not only disrupt your friendship a little bit with Ryan mm -hmm. but we also see another character get a little bit upset after mm -hmm. seeing this Stephanie yes so I gotta where the season finale is coming up what can we expect I would expect something really shocking like something really like Talking to happen. I can't really give anything right. away I, because I, I know, but I, I'm gonna try. And, um, but I would okay. expect something really shocking. It's gonna be a really, really good season. I'm really, really excited. Okay, so shocking as in like, have we ever seen this in the history of Chicken Girls before? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe, well, no, not really. Okay, and we'll have to maybe do with your character. Maybe, maybe not. She's involved in some sort of way in this really shocking revelation that I can't say, reveal. I'm gonna say yeah, she's involved, but that's about it. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so the season yeah, finale it's is really, big. it's really, really exciting. Okay, yeah. and as far as I know, the season finale does come out the 28th of May, and I'm just hoping that we will get a season five. I know, even if you know, you're not gonna be able to tell me, but I'm just gonna throw it out there, manifest it, and hope we get season I five. I don't know. Would you do season, or would you do Chicken Girls until like season 500? Probably. Or you guys just like yeah, it's hope fun. there's no end in sight? We wouldn't be Chicken Girls anymore, we'd be Chicken Women. We have this discussion all the time. We laugh about it. Chicken We'd have girl? little chicklets, or Wait. what do you call them? Chicklets, did I say chicklets? You did, but it's gum, but We'd like, have whatever. little chicks. Yeah. No, oh my God, that could be it. Chicken Girls, chicken and then women. you could get to Chicken Grandmas. Chicken Grandmas. And then, and then the franchise the will continue with Chicken Grandchildren, and then you can just pass it on to them. Wow, we've come up with some ideas. No, we really have. But no, we always have that joke on, okay. like I said, we're like, I wonder if we're gonna ever become chicken women. Okay. Like, so what if we went to college? Well, we're not chicken girls anymore, we're chicken women. Yeah, I just never wanna hear, you know, in Friends, you always hear like, oh, one character didn't wanna do it anymore and the whole thing fell apart. So you're not gonna be that person. Doubtful. Doubtful. No, not okay. gonna be that person. Okay. I wouldn't do that, that'd be, that'd be sad. Okay. But anyway. I'll be interviewing you as a chicken great-grandma one day. Chicken great-grandma <laughs> one grandma. day, can you imagine? Um, Honestly, no. I'd be <laughs> like, fried chicken maybe. by that point. If I was a great grandma, I'd be fried chicken. There's, there's so many ways. Wow, there's so many there's jokes. There's spinoffs I see it happening it. right now. Me too. I mean, did I earn my paycheck or did I earn my paycheck? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Very rare, but sometimes I do. No, I can't wait though for the season finale, Chicken Girls. I feel like I know what's coming, and I feel like it's just gonna blow all of our minds, and like we can all watch and it together. I know. Uh, me I can't either. Speak. I'm not excited. Okay. But until then. It's the end of our show. Oh man. So sad. So sad. But if you made it all the way to the end, let us know, okay? And then we'll like write you back. Comment below, like, share, Subscribe. do all the good things. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Have a happy Bye. Mother's Day. And don't stay out past midnight. <laughs>